how one begins. Oh, quick one, this one. Last turn. Active on his feet, pressuring forward. Nice jazz by Mas Tan. Mas, the taller, lankier opponent. Okay, what do you think is a longer reach? What do you think you should use that as a oh, Jabs. Jabs all day. But the thing is, in MMA, nowadays, a lot of MMA kind of favors the shorter guy because you have more power to put in uh, into your punches with those small gloves. But not only that, like in terms of wrestling, you gotta be shorter. Well, not shorter, but lower, lower in terms of your levels. Right, as we were right. talking this now, Nicaragua just landed a very nice, beautiful body yeah, But kick. there is a huge striking advantage if you are taller. Because you have the, the reach of... Oh! oh the reach of your kick? Almost nicks him in the head. Yeah. Just scrapes off the glove. Leg kick there. Nicaragua pushing forward. Nicaragua though. Bit of a glove issue. Touch up your slow. That will begin to get it. I like, the, I like the low stand. Oh! oh. Nasty low blow Ooh. by Nicolaj. Okay, we got a. We have a replay for that one. See how, how bad that was. What was the damage? Oh. I like the low stand. into the ground. Okay, okay, so we just yes. touching him. Essentially just, but he's still landing. Yeah, yeah. That, that, was, still, still, that was still counts. It still counts as a uh, significant, right? significant strike, yeah. So it would influence as damage. Oh! Good pressure, elbows maybe. Oh, oh, oh push an uppercut, uppercut. He's maybe trying to push him more to a wall. Maybe trying to set up a double leg maybe. Oh, beautiful right overhead. <laughs> I mean, these guys from Stripe MMA, I think it's safe to say that these guys are, I wouldn't want to say like they're, they're brawlers, but I guess that's the kind of uh, the vibe that they bring every right, time right, they, right. they come into, into, the, uh, into the octagon. Kick there from Nick Arash. They are strikers, but not to say like they're, they're not good in the ground or anything, they are right. good in the ground. Just that, you know, oh, oh, oh. That was checked real hard. That was checked real hard. Oh, now they're brawling. They're brawling. Yeah, 
chasing that mass. Hook, he gets a double run. He gets an open hook. Oh, beautiful dude, that is like by Mars. Nick trying to push Mars against the wall. With a beautiful underhook. He, he needs to keep the underhook bow if he loses the underhook. Not bad, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting MMA battle between the two. Oh, that's the second time that's right the second there. Time. One more time, he does that. his left arm trap. What is he doing? He has his left arm trap. Oh, he might be in mount. No, no, no. Oh, no, he got pushed oh, out. He got pushed Mars out. Mars is in mount. Now Mars, now Mars, Mars is guard. in his half guard. Mars in full guard now. As Nick wraps both his legs around. About 30 seconds to work. Right, Mars landing some nasty ground and pound from the bottom top. Nick trying to see. Maybe figure out a triangle is a submission. He has an underhook. He goes for an underhook sweep, double oh. hook, and he managed to get himself out with the underhook. Now he's Mars using the wall to get himself up instead of getting, uh, instead of getting taken Mars. down. He has a body lock. Yeah. But then Mars has an underhook. Hook. Yeah. Yep. And beautiful oh, again, a second round. Good wrestling exchanges by both Mars and Nick. significant takedown okay. but um, when there's a lot of scrambling uh, probably just score the, for the like you know the control time for when they do get on top and, and not just not control time per se because control time doesn't really matter anymore it's more towards what they can do when they are on top damage so, like, yeah, damage 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 damage. Damage. Oh, but Mars drops his mouth guard out you could say he drops his job <laughs> Go! 
while circling around the circle. Or is it an octagon? I don't know. It's an octagon, right? No, octagon, yeah. It's an octagon. Beautiful body kick. Pass to show a little bit of damage done. No, no, no. I don't think it was a liver thing. I think it was just the back, right? Yeah, yeah. I think he's trying to like. Oh! Oh! Yeah, oh! Take down. He flies. But Nick has a guillotine in. Trying to wrap his arm. Is that it? That's an arm in the guillotine. Yeah, that's that's right under the that neck. That is deep. Right now, Mars has to fight the hands and try to release the hand that's under the neck. Yeah, how do you defeat? So I mean, because it is under the neck, you can yes. see clearly yes. he's under so the neck. So he has to fight the hands. Right now he has to pull the hands over okay. to relieve the pressure. Mm. What, does our, what does Nick has to do though, uh, to, to, oh, to secure this? Nick has to turn to his left and start butt scooting out to his right. Then he can tighten the submission. Oh! He tries to go for an armbar. But Nick has an underhook there. Also, staying on top, hugging his opponent. Ref my top was an action. Come on, Nick opening his guard. He could be trying to set up a submission, but he doesn't have I say what hand he has. All he has is an overhook over uh, Mars' snack. However, Mars is not doing really too much. He's staying on top. seconds left to work. Right, Nick gets, an, top. Nick gets an underhook, but again, Mas is quick to shut down the underhook. It's really hard to judge, you know, something called as a effective grappling. Yes. But if you really want to perform effective grappling, like, there needs to be like some form of advancement. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right now they are both stuck in the same position. Yeah, it's like a stalemate position. Well, it's not really a stalemate position, it's just they not really trying hard enough to Thank you. 